and 11. I woke up a little bit earlier this morning because I just wanted to make sure that I had enough time to film everything that I want to film. We're doing a leg day. I'm pretty pumped for it. It's always nice to wake up on, is it Monday? On a Monday and get a good leg booty pump. So we're gonna do that. Hope everyone is killing it today. And this week is gonna be awesome. I guess I'll see you guys when I start breaking a sweat. So here I just started with my first exercise, which was RDLs, and I just started out pretty light so I could get warmed up a bit and so I could leave space for several sets. And yes, the tag on my shorts, I didn't even realize until about halfway through and then it was just distracting and annoying me. So I fixed that. And then I just slowly started to move up and wait a little bit. I did about seven sets, I think just until my glutes were really tired and then I decided to move on to the next exercise. All right, so next I was doing dumbbell sumo deadlifts. I can't really do normal deadlifts right now just because my back hurts a lot, a lot but these do not hurt as bad, so I've been doing them a lot, and I honestly will do up to 15 to 20 reps just because that's when I really start to feel the burn, and I really just focus on pushing up through my glutes and not my back, and just make sure to put all that weight on the back of my heel, and I feel the burn. I did four sets of that, and then I moved into a goblet squats to lunge, which are the ultimate quad killer. I actually, I just hate these, period. I don't even love them, but I will use them and do lots of sets with them if I'm trying to get a good quad pump. So typically I'll do about six to eight on each leg. And then if I'm still feeling like I can keep going, I'll just do body weight either just goblet squats or goblet squat to lunge body weight. And then I just did some hamstring extensions. I did four sets of these on the weight 50, just so I didn't have to challenge myself too hard and it, I did feel tension, but not an overly amount of it. 
And then I finished with quad extensions and I did four sets of these. I did a superset with the hamstring curls and I did this on weight 90, so it was pretty challenging, but I was able to get 10-ish reps in. And I finished my whole workout with a five minute cool down on the Stairmaster, really working on control and less of a race. And I really focused on not letting my knees come in when I step, which was difficult for me for some exercises. So that's what this um, slow down portion is. Just really working on control to feel it in my glutes. Guys, that was actually such a fire workout. I planned on doing hip thrust to start off because as compounds, squats and deadlifts still hurt me a little bit. But you know, I was just honestly did not have the fucking energy to fiddle around. I did not have the energy to fiddle around with the freaking bar and the plates because that always just hurts my back and hurts my ego, you know? <laughs> I just didn't want to, so I did like, Jesus Christ, sorry, I'm a mess, guys. I did like extra RDLs, like lighter weight, and then just, I did probably like seven sets or something, because I just wanted to get some supplemental movement in, if that's the right word. I didn't do like, it wasn't just glutes and something, I clearly did just full legs, because I did some RDLs, which were hamstrings, and then I did the goblet squat to lunge, which is um, quads. My quads are actually throbbing they're killing me but it feels so good it's like good pain i did the stairs at the end only for a couple minutes just to get like a tiny bit of cardio in i normally will do it for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes but i just did it for five minutes just to kind of like wrap up oh yeah i burned probably like it was like 550 for the workout so probably like close to 600 or something which is honestly really good for me in my workouts sometimes it makes me feel kind of shitty because when i do upper body days i'll burn like 300 calories but then when i do lower body i burn like 600 and it's not like i'm trying less hard someone explain that to me because it kind of makes me feel like poopy sometimes because i'm like oh my god am i not trying but i literally am so okay well it's a beautiful day and i have pt in about two hours and hopefully they can figure out what the flip is wrong with my back because i want to be able to work out without being in pain and i really miss my deadlifts and squats i hate squats but it just makes me feel again strong and powerful so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna tell them my issue and I'm gonna see what they can do.